Shalom. Before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and that rule well. And peace and salutation to the elect that's out here laboring and all truth and sincerity to USA Shalom. This is the brother Amawam from the GMS Charlotte camp coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kodash. And pretty much in this lesson, I want to go into the fact of how hey, the world can no longer deny this truth. All right. Because at the end of the day, man, everything that has been brought out, starting with the apostles and elders through the spirit of, you know, containing what's in this book, the world is seeing, you know, on a full scale. OK, and that is just further proven that this book, this Bible is not no not no made up fairy tale. All right. The so-called white man didn't write this book, this book. All right. As the scriptures tell you. Let me get that real quick. Was written through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Awashah that he put on men to write in this book, all right, for the days that we're in now, okay? Let me see. I think it's in uh first. Well, I can get this right, right quick. This is Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope, right? Because the scriptures detail what was going to be happening in these last days, man, okay? The different signs in the world, all right? The, the wars, the rumors of wars, all right? The famines, pestilence, and plagues, okay? The, the, the mind state of the people, okay? What this devil was going to be doing, all right? All these different events that would be taking place, Leading all the way up until the returning of Yahweh Shai, who the world enemy calls Jesus Christ, all right? The world is, is seeing that this book is playing out before their very eyes, man, all right? Which is just further, you know, pumping up the faith of all the believers that truly believe in the words of this book, all right? Yahweh by Shimei is making, making it plain and showing you who are the true men of the, script, uh, 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 of the, of the Lord. Because everything that we're bringing out is coming straight from the Bible, all right? This is Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no lie in them, right? Because if you're not speaking, thus says the Lord, thus says the Bible, then that shows you there's no light in you because everything that we uh, that we bring out, we filter it through the scriptures, all right? We, we break down you know, different uh, uh, verses in the scriptures using precepts as, as the scriptures told us to, all right? Precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little, all right? We got the the, the whole thing, you know, going on with all right, the rumors of wars dealing with World War Three. The scriptures describe that, and we filter that through the scriptures, all right? Like I said, how men are, are, are operating in these last days, man. Or how they're going to be, you know, lovers of, of themselves. You know, they're going to be uh, uh, having itching ears, you know, seeking to uh, follow after men who claim to have the truth. Scriptures talk about, you know, the uh, the pretty much the false the false prophets, man. All right. All these things are spoke about in the scriptures and we warn you of them through the scriptures. As we just read, man, things were, that were written a four time was written for our learning that we will have, you know, a, a, a comfort and hope. Roughly paraphrasing, man. Okay. So this 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 thing is pretty much playing out right before our eyes to let you know that this is real. All right. So let's, let's get this in Second Ezra chapter six, verse seven. It says, "For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared." Right. Because what we're witnessing is the downfall of this wicked kingdom and the up the uprising of the Lord's men, which is going to uh, then bring forth the kingdom of heaven after Yahweh Shah comes and reclaims his throne upon this world. All right. So it says that evil is being put out and deceit shall be quenched. And we're seeing the beginning of that now. All right. All, you know, all this uh, uh, hidden wickedness that Esau has done 
all throughout his reign since he's been in power is being brought out. All right. And, and the truth. All right. is being, you know, uh, uh, it's being exposed, man. All right. Because we live now in the information age where everything is being brought out. All right. The 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 whistle blowing on Esau Edom to where his own people. All right. Are speaking, you know, uh, uh, what we're saying, man, which is further adds to that point, which shows you that the Lord. All right. The Lord is in full exposure mode when it comes to this devil, man. All right. I think it's 64. Yeah. Um, Psalm 64 and 8. So shall they make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All they that see them shall flee away. Right. And hey, he's exposing himself now. We're just showing you how this evil is beginning to be put away, man. Because the Most High all right, is destroying Esau's power, which one of the forms of his power was his secrecy, man. The deceit. All right. And that's being quenched because the truth is coming out. It says, as for faith, back in 2nd Ezra 6 and 28, as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Right. And this is what you're seeing, man. All right. The apostles and elders been teaching about the MOTB way before this technology was even thought about be, uh, being seen, all right? And what are we seeing now? More and more uh, 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 evidence to show you that the, the, the mark of the beast is, this, is the, uh, the CHIP, man, the Karagma, all right, that they want to put inside of you, and they're putting the, the groundwork in to mandate this to where all, you know, as the scriptures tell you, all small and great, rich and poor, shall receive a mark, of, you know, in their right hand or in their forehead. They're... they're in the process of making this uh, 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 pretty much mandated, man. All right. So this is confirming the faith of the believers, man. All right. Which lets you know that this book is not no fairy tale, man. Not no storybook. All right. So all these prophecies that talk about the destruction of Babylon the Great, it's coming to pass. And, and, and hey, all the information is out here to be seen. All right. Because like I said, man, the Lord... Has made it uh has made it plain, all right, because it's in this book for a reason. All right, let me get this real quick. This is the book of Luke, chapter eight, verse seventeen. It says, "For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad." Right, because we know when when it comes to you know uh. uh Esau trying to hide the truth. The spirit of the Lord is revealing everything, man. All right. Scriptures tell you that. Uh, let me get that real quick. I'm trying to, you know, speed this along before I have to go into the plantation. But either way, we're going to get it out. All right. This is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Right. So the, the, the spirit of the Lord is, is consuming this devil with the spirit of his mouth, which is the prophets. All right. Because through us breaking, uh, bringing out all the wickedness that this devil is doing. And then we're filtering it through in the scriptures. This is showing you how Esau is being revealed, man. So it says back in Luke 8 and 17. But nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. Neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Because the Lord... Is, is, has made it well, we're in a time to where all things are being put on the forefront all right because that's the devil the devil's biggest secret or his his greatest source of power was his his secrecy so now everything is being brought out that showed that that power that he had over the earth all right is waning all right and, and we're getting to the point where man he's he's uh so distraught so he's gonna have to come against the prophets full out man all right. And that's when Yahweh about Shimei is going to make his move against him. OK, because we live in the age of information. This is why the Lord is letting all this come out. Before he, you know, fully closes this thing up, man. All right. Because he's going to make it to where nobody has an excuse not to know that hey, the men that's teaching this, this, uh, this word that you didn't you didn't know. All things are being made manifest, man. Luke 12 and four. But thou, but thou, O Daniel. 
shut up the words and seal the book. Even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. Right. Because we live in the time of uh, uh, the age of information to where everything is, you know, a, a, a Google away or a video away from seeing. All right. So Jake has no excuse because hey, not only is the information available, you got men that are out here bringing this information out and tying it back to the scripture to let you know that this is the truth, man. All right? That this ain't uh, 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 what Esau deems a conspiracy theory. No, this is fact. This is fact that was that, that is being brought out from the scriptures. Now, we use the, the information from, you know, different sources, but we always filter it back to the scriptures to let you know that this is all ties back into scriptures, the Bible, the prophecies. Okay? This is Isaiah 30 and 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Right, because now you can't push us to the side anymore, man. You can't just throw no no uh, no uh crazy label on us or cause conspiracy theories anymore. No, we're bringing everything out. All right, everything is, is being shown. Full scale to let you know that this man, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is the devil. All right, his his glorious kingdom, Babylon the Great, is being destroyed right before the whole world's eyes, and that Yahweh by Shimei was shy is raising up his men, all right, the elect of the nation of Israel, all right, that are chanting down the, the, the destruction of Babylon the Great so that we can herald in the coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, so that he can bring in his kingdom and finally have the uh, 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 a, a, a kingdom of righteousness be established once he takes down Esau and the other nations, man. All right. All these things are being brought out. All right. Through the scriptures from the men of the Lord, man, the true men of the Lord. All right. Who have not deflected from the, the true doctrine, man. All right. To let you people know. All right. What the will of the Lord is, man. All right. You can't hide us anymore, man. Okay. And so no matter how much you try to, you know, uh, uh, mystify the Bible, and, and trying to put it aside saying that it's not true, you can't deny the fact that this this word is consuming the whole world. This is why Esau has to, uh, you know, come to these, these secret meetings to try to dispel misinformation, which we know that's code for trying to, you know, uh, stifle the word and the prophets from bringing out this truth, man. Okay? But at the end of the day, like I said, we're at a point where nobody can deny this word anymore, man. All right? Because at the end of the day, you've all heard, which is why the Lord has made this uh, so accessible on all all platforms, on all avenues, so that you Jakes have no excuse, man. John 15 and 22, if I had not spoken, it's like if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not sinned. But now they have no, no cloak for their sin, right? You have no covering, no excuse, all right, when the Lord <clears throat> begins to open up his judgment upon the world and upon the wicked that refuse to repent and get right with the heavenly father and the son. All right. You're going to be destroyed in your ignorance. And it's not because you didn't know it's because you knew and chose not to act on it, man. All right. Like it tells you in uh, Ezekiel 33, man. All right. You heard the, the, the sound of the trumpet and you chose not to take warning. So your blood is upon your own head, man. All right. Because this is, this, this is all being made accessible. And yet you people are out here playing still, man. But that's okay. This is 2 Peter 3 and 5. For this, they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of the Most High, the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. All right. Whereby the world that that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept back. Saki are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Right. Because here it is, just as just as Noah back then was prophesying about how the Lord was about to bring a flood. And at that time, nobody had seen rain. So they thought Noah was crazy. He was out there over 100 years building the ark, prophesying. They, they was calling him crazy. He was, a, he was what you would call a conspiracy theory back then, a theorist back then. But in the same breath, all right, as we're saying now, the Lord, he, he flooded the world back then with water, killed everybody on the earth but eight people, Noah and his family. So comparing back then to now, all right, we're warning you that the Lord is about to bring another flood 
But this time the flood is going to happen by fire. All right. And all the, the, the tools or clues, let me say it like that, all the clues that are leading up to this destruction are being made evident unto the whole world. You still got men and women that are, are, are willfully being ignorant to the fact that the Lord is about to bring destruction upon this place where they're treating us just how they treated Moses. Or not, sorry, not Moses, uh, Noah. All right. They're gonna they're gonna uh, uh uh fall in that same in that same category as the men that was back then, that didn't take Noah's message seriously until that until them raindrops started falling. And that's when they wanted to try to you know hop on the ark. But then it's gonna be too late. That's the same thing that's going on now. We're out here building the spiritual ark so that we don't get consumed by that lake of fire. You people are gonna be left there to burn, man. All right, because of your wickedness, man. Okay. So I just wanted to put it out through the spirit, man. Lord willing. This lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So with that, I'm going to close the lesson out by giving our honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukh Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and rule well. And peace and salutation to the elect. Until next time, I say Shalom.